good morning all of you let us study today photochemistry what is photochemistry what are the different laws of photochemistry then differences between photochemical and thermal reactions what are the differences between photochemical and thermal reactions next we will study quantum yield what is called quantum yield what are the reasons for high low quantum yields that is due to primary and secondary process in photochemical reactions we will study in detail another important term used in photochemistry is called quantum yield or quantum efficiency what is called quantum efficiency or phi that is number of molecules reacting divided by number of photons of light observed in the same time for example one photon light observed one molecule reacted then phi equal to 1 suppose one photon of light observed 100 molecules reacted then phi equal to 100 therefore it is defined as the ratio of number of molecules reacting in a given time to the number of photons of light observed in the same time experimentally how the quantum efficiency is uh, determined it is obtained from the rate of the chemical reaction and then how much light energy is observed per second so the rate of reaction by means of kinetics kinetic measurements we can calculate the we can determine the rate of chemical reaction by actual meter we can find out we can photometer how much light energy is how much einstein how many photons are observed per second based on quantum yield there are three types of photochemical reactions based on quantum yield if phi equal to 1 the product is produced in primary photochemical process there is no secondary process okay for example phi equal to 1 hydrogen sulfide is irradiated with the wave electromagnetic light radiation with the wavelength 208 nanometer it is excited in the first in the primary step and because of the bond is weakened due to electronic transitions h2 the bond is broken h2 plus s in this case phi equal to 1 why phi greater than 1 when chain reactions occur for example photochemical reaction between hydrogen and chlorine chain reaction occurs and also exothermic this step is exothermic so we will study further what are the reasons for high quantum yield what are the reasons for low quantum yield we will explain very clearly and in the photolysis of uh, bromine and hydrogen the similar mechanism here endothermic therefore physical deactivation physical deactivation of excited molecule is uh, dominant is majorly taking place therefore phi is less than 1 0.01 now we will see what are the reasons for high quantum yield low quantum yield one molecule is one photon is observed one molecule react then phi equal to 1 now what are the reasons for high and low quantum yield there are two processes taking place during photochemical reactions one is primary process if only primary process takes place then p equal to 1 see p equal to 1 if secondary process takes place for example chain reaction 
exothermic process endothermic process then the quantum yield for the photochemical reactions are either high or low we will see what is now primary process in primary process the excited the um, the molecule absorbs a photon of light to become excited the excited molecule give directly product the excited molecule is formed in the primary process it is directly converted to product or in the case of chlorine it is it absorbs a light photon and gets dissociated to give atoms the excited molecule may get dissociated to give atoms or free radicals okay now what are called a secondary process due to why why do we study secondary process due to these secondary process the photochemical reactions will have high quantum yield or low quantum yield now we will see what are secondary process and also reasons for high quantum yield because of secondary process the species formed in primary process reacts further to give rise to high phi the product is the reactant the excited molecule is not converted to product but instead it reacts further with other molecules to give rise to phi sometimes in the secondary process the free radicals initiate chain reactions the free radicals for example cl2 initiate chain reactions in the photolysis of chlorine and hydrogen these cl dot is produced the highly reactive atoms initiate chain reactions and leading to high quantum yield phi greater than 1 million that is 1 million if the secondary process for example this is primary process in the secondary process in the secondary pro reactions the secondary process reactions are exothermic the heat released activate further the reactant molecules resulting in high phi value okay now what are the reasons for low quantum yield the reasons for low quantum yield are also due to secondary process are also due to secondary process the a star the excited molecules gets deactivated to give back the reactant see the photon is lost the energy of photon is lost now therefore the quantum yield is low a star collides with the, the excited molecule collides with the normal molecule to form 2a these collisions between the molecules deactivate the excited molecules another reason for low quantum yield is that dissociated atoms or radicals combine to form reactant molecule reactant back okay if the secondary reactions in the case of photolysis of bromine and hydrogen p is very very low because the bromine radicals the bromine atom highly unstable reactive atoms reacts with the hydrogen to give hbr plus h this reaction is endothermic whereas in the case of h2 plus cl this is exothermic the heat is released therefore if the secondary reactions are endothermic the heat absorbed inactivate the excited molecule resulting in low quantum yield what are the factors influencing quantum yield what are the factors affecting quantum yield effect of temperature effect of wavelength effect of intensity effect of addition of gas etc what is the effect of temperature 
increase in temperature increases quantum yield because all primary photochemical process is endothermic therefore quantum yield increases with the increase in temperature effect of wavelength effect of wavelength what is the effect of wavelength as we lower the wavelength as we lower the wavelength the energy increases the energy of photon absorbed is uh, very large therefore the quantum yield will be higher at the lower wavelength okay and vice versa the quantum yield will be lower at the higher wavelength or the quantum yield will be higher at the higher frequency another factor is intensity of light it increases the quantum yield increases with the intensity of light for example laser beam consists of lot of photons concentrated photons of monochromatic wavelength if one more if one molecule absorbs one photon then it is called monophotonic process if one molecule absorbs two photons see because of laser high intense beam because of laser beam one photon one molecule absorbs two photon then it is called bipot biphotonic process if one molecule absorbs many photons then it is called multiphotonic process what is the effect of addition of inert gas the addition of inert gas in photochemical reaction always decreases the quantum yield because of um, collision because of collision with the excited molecule it deactivates the excited molecule to give back the reactant thank you for watching often problems were asked in iit jam and in gate csir and in many competitive exams what is the value of one einstein what is the energy of one mole of photon that is einstein is given by so n equal to hc by lambda or n equal to avogadro's number per mole c is the velocity of light h planck's constant by substituting these values in this expression we can obtain in cgs unit these um, these are used for problems solving problems so if lambda is given in centimeter what is the what is the energy of one mole of photon of radiation of wavelength for example 1 cm or um, 0.0 not not 10 power minus 7 cm once you know the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation we can calculate the energy of 1 einstein that is one mole of photon in si unit lambda if lambda is uh, given wavelength of electromagnetic light radiation is given in meter then in joules you use this formula okay